Hello, Davida here, and I'm back with another video. So, today, I'm going to use this 12 by 36 canvas. I'm going to do a split pour. See my cup? And if you watch my videos, you already know. But maybe I should invest in a legitimate split cup. But for right now, this is what we have. This is what we're going to use. See my tape? Don't laugh. It's going to work. Okay, so here we go. I am going to uh, do actually a painting I did a few months ago. But I did it on a smaller scale. So, I like this, um, the long canvases. Um, so we're going to see how that, how those colors work with this long canvas. And I'm using, um, gold, silver, black, and white. Colors that I'm sure everyone has in their supply car. Uh, closet. The only difference is my white is mixed with the satin enamels. So we're going to have a little bit of a the cloud effect in this particular uh, pour. And you know it looks a little thicker than I want it. So I'm going to add just a touch of water to this. Give me a second. Okay. Just a touch of water. It's also been sitting for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes <clears throat> while I was, you know, procrastinating um, but yeah okay that looks good all right so I'm going to first layer the bottom with <clears throat> the gray and the black and this is a metallic gray Mix 50-50. Um, my flow chart is a little thin. So, this is also a little thin. It, it is DecoArt's um, Shimmering Silver. Which, those paints are already thin. So, um, let's see what's, uh, what's going to happen. Shazam. Did you see that? Right back. Okay. Luckily, that was not my cloud mixture. It was just some extra paint that I was going to use as a flow extender. Um... So, we're not going to worry about that. All right, so, we're going to um, first do the gray and the black. And I'm going to do uh, thin layers. I'm still going to try to pour evenly because my little cardboard still is not, you know, come molded to the inside of the cup. Now this is gold. It's actually Deco Arts 
I believe it's a splendid gold. And we don't want them to sink through. We want to layer them right on top. So I'm, I'm pouring like on the side. All right, let's do the <clears throat> silver and black again. And the gold and the cloud, <clears throat> cloud pour mixture. Silver. Now I'm going to do another layer of silver. I don't want the black to overpower what I'm trying to attempt here. We'll see. Okay, so I put this little sheet of paper down just to prevent that happening on the canvas, little drips. Now, I'm going to start at this end and come down. Fingers crossed. Let's get some music.
Okay, we're getting there. Sort of, kind of what I was going for. But, um, hmm, let's look at it. Which way should I go? I like what's going on down here on this end. So, let's see if I, and I'm glad I put that black because I'm not sure how much I want to spread this out. So, let's see what happens. And there is no particular name for this pour. It's just something I wanted. It's mainly the colors I wanted to use. Something's not moving. Nothing is moving on this end. Let's move this out the way before we have another accident. Okay. Let's add a little bit more black get things moving here. I don't know if I'm in camera shot, but I want some of this white to move down a little further. And it's moving mighty slow. slow like that, that means there's not a lot of paint on the canvas, which is good. It's a good thing. But it's hindering what I want it to do. Okay. All right, let's look at it. It's looking a little sea creature-ish down here, which I don't want. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking what to do, what to do.
maybe I can I know if I add some gold up here to kind of balance it what do you think should I do that but if I do that it's just gonna be a strip of gold and look crazy like it was put there on purpose and not a part of the pour. So I'm not thinking I want to do that. But what I could do is maybe mix up some gold and black. No. Let's see. You know what? I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to leave it as is. Um, I'm going to tilt a little bit to see if I can get this part to move any further. Which is not doing. Okay. She's done. No winner, winner, chicken dinner on this one. But I like it. It's different. It's definitely an abstract type of piece. Um, and believe it or not, where I live at, my clientele, they like stuff like this. So I'm going to leave it as is. And... Uh, Hopefully, she'll find a nice home soon. Okay, people. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please like and subscribe. And leave me a comment. And uh, see you next pour. Stay blessed. Stay safe.